India's cricket legend Sachin Tendulkar has been hospitalised after testing positive for coronavirus earlier this week. The former captain wrote on Twitter that he decided to go to a hospital in Mumbai as a matter of abundant precaution under medical advice and he added that he was hoping to be back home in a few days. Our correspondent Rajini Vaijanathan sent us this update from Delhi. Well, Sachin Tendulkar tested positive for coronavirus at the end of last week and was isolating at home. But now we know that he has moved to hospital. Now, in his statement to his fans on Twitter, he said this was out of an abundance of caution um, and that he hoped to be home in the next few days. So no immediate cause for serious concern, but given that Sachin Tendulkar is a megastar in this part of the world with hundreds of millions of fans, there are many, many people who will be watching his condition very, very closely. Now this all comes as India itself is seeing a huge spike in coronavirus cases. In the last 24 hours, more than 82 thousand coronavirus cases reported and more more than 430 deaths now that's the highest daily increase since the end of last year since last october uh, at the start of the year cases were falling quite dramatically here in india and i think a lot of people um, thought that india was past the worst um, officials say that lax behavior is to blame for this rise in cases perhaps people uh, you know weren't wearing masks as often they weren't social distancing as much and now what we're seeing is this rise in cases. Now, yesterday, the government expanded its vaccination programme. Now, anyone over the age of 45 is eligible for a coronavirus vaccine. Now, officials want to make sure that everyone over the age of 45 in these areas where there are high case numbers gets a vaccine in the next fortnight. Now, that's still a tough challenge here. There's still a lot of scepticism uh, around the vaccine here in India. Now, the government's target is to make sure that 300 million people get their first dose of a COVID vaccine by July. But experts believe that unless the vaccination programme is ramped up quite dramatically, that could be quite a tough target to meet.